I am a Christian, and I've trusted Jesus to save me, but I still worry about hell sometimes. It's scary. Hell is scary, but you've got nothing to fear if you're a believer in Jesus. Hi, and welcome to a brand new week of stories and scriptures right here on Keys for Kids. As always, my name is Zach. Let me ask you, does the thought of going to hell scare you? Well, it should. Hell is a place of eternal suffering and judgment. But I've got some great news. If you put your faith in Jesus, you don't have to worry about going to hell. That's because Jesus died to save you. 1 Peter 2.24 says, Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross. By his wounds you were healed. Now, let's listen to our story for today. It's called Nutcracker. Raylan reached for a bowl of nuts. She took a pecan and placed it between the jaws of a nutcracker. Mom, in Sunday school yesterday, we had a lesson on hell, she said in a troubled voice. It scared me. What if I go there when I die? Hell is a scary place, agreed Mom. God created it for the devil and his angels. People who refuse to trust Jesus as their Savior will join them there. Raylan's brother Andy spoke up. But if you trust in Jesus to forgive you and wash your sins away, you'll go to heaven instead. I've trusted in Jesus as my Savior, Raylan said slowly, but I still worry about hell sometimes. She held the pecan carefully as she squeezed the nutcracker, but the nut slipped away and the jaws of the nutcracker closed on her finger. Ouch! she wailed. She tossed the nutcracker into the bowl. I don't want to crack nuts anymore, Raylan said, nursing her finger. That hurt. You're scared of a little nutcracker? Andy asked. Not me. Watch. He grinned as he put his finger between the jaws of the nutcracker. Then he put a book beside his finger. Go ahead. Squeeze it, he said, holding out his hand. Raylan obliged, but the book kept the nutcracker jaws open. Andy laughed. (laughs) See, it doesn't even hurt. The book took all the pressure Andy should have felt when he stuck his finger in the nutcracker, Mom observed. That's a pretty good example of what Jesus does for us. I think I get what you're saying, said Andy. We all sin and deserve to be punished for the wrong things we've done, but when we trust in Jesus, he protects us from hell. Sort of like the book protected my finger. Right, Mom? Mom nodded. Andy trusted the book to keep his finger safe, Raylan, and we can trust Jesus to keep us safe, now and for all eternity. He took the punishment for our sin when he died on the cross so we wouldn't have to. We can have the joy of knowing we won't go to hell. Instead, we'll spend eternity with Jesus. So how about you? Do you worry you might go to hell? Everyone has sinned and deserves to go to hell, but when Jesus died on the cross, he took that punishment for our sin. If you trust in him, you don't need to worry about going there. If you haven't trusted Jesus as your Savior, don't wait any longer. Trust in him right now and experience the joy of having your sins forgiven and knowing you have eternal life. To learn more about what it means to follow Jesus, just go to keysforkids.org slash salvation. Our key verse is found in 1 Peter 2.24. Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross. By his wounds, you were healed. And our key thought today, Jesus took your punishment. Sometimes the best way to read a story is to hold it right in your hands and feel the pages and maybe even smell the ink. Now you can get the keys for kids' stories just like that. We'll send them to you in the mail with your name on it and everything. That way you'll never miss a story. Plus you can play the games and write in the journal too. Get it in the mail by signing up today at keysforkids.org slash subscribe. Well, as always, my name is Zach. Thanks for taking some time to listen to Keys for Kids today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.